Hey guys, Lemon Fisherman, we're going to do a little video. I want to talk about uh, long lining or strolling. It's a new technique that come out. Well, it's not really new, but it's new to the bass industry, the new world. In tournaments, it's against rules to have your bait being propelled, propelled by the motion of the boat. So, say if I'm fishing a crankbait and I cast it out there and I move the boat with the trolling motor or the big engine and I'm just letting it do its thing just like that. That is against rules. It's not allowed. If you get caught doing that, you're disqualified. Okay? What they come out with on Douglas was the fish were very deep, much deeper than normal for crankbaits, but they wanted crankbaits. They wanted to bite a crankbait. They were really deep though, 20 to 35. I think some guys were catching, catching them 40 feet, I think. But uh, a lot of these crankbaits won't get that deep. So they come out with, basically, it's a way to treat, cheat that rule. And I'm sure they're gonna, uh, you know, make light of that and they're gonna rule that out in tournaments. I wanna talk about how you're gonna do it. Okay. It's, it's really good for ledges and the ends of points, so I'm going to give you an idea of what it is. So basically, when you get on a school of fish offshore, for the most part, especially when the current's going, they're going to be in one area. So with that being said, you know where they're going to be when you start getting bites, and you can catch in that area. It might be an area the size of this boat or half the size of this boat. So when you know that area like I did on the other spot that we just left, because some guys pulled up, we've caught a lot of fish, I'm going to let them have at it. I've had my day, so. and they're a bunch of small fish too. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to make a pretty long cast. Okay, and you're gonna pass. You're gonna cast past the school of fish. Your, your boat might be right where the school of fish are. Then you're gonna let line out. You're gonna disengage the reel. And then they, they get on the trolling motor super hard, and they make sure they don't move the bait. If they move that crankbait at all, it's trolling. So they're gonna let line out, and, and you're gonna you're gonna follow your GPS. They have really good GPS, so, the, so they know what they're doing a little better than I do, but it gives you a really good idea, okay? So the bait hasn't moved at all. It's past the school of fish. The boat was there. I'm going to keep moving. And it gives you an idea. When a crankbait dives, it goes down, gets to its maximum depth, and then it has to come back up as it gets closer to the boat. So what's going to happen is it's going to have much more of an area. They were letting a whole bunch of line out. I mean, some people were talking when they were getting their baits down 35 feet, they were talking about five to 15 minutes per cast. A lot of them were talking 10 to 15 minutes. So they're, they're letting this line out. They're going to keep going. I'm curious how, how deep I can get a bait. I'm going to try it a little bit today just to, just to fool around with it because Gunnersville, Gunnersville, the fish are a little deeper with the clear water that I'm going to next week. So I'm going to see if maybe I can get something going. I'm way out here now. I've got about half a spool out. Then I'm going to stop the boat. I want to make sure that the boat stopped in one place because the boat's still moving. You know, they can call that, I guess, maybe. So I turn the boat. Then I'm going to start my retrieve. The boat right now is sitting in 23 feet of water. And I'm going to start my retrieve. I'm wondering if I can hit bottom in 20 feet. I bet I can with how much line I had out. And that's basically strolling or long lining. They've had that technique out for years. Years and years. Kelly Jordan and them have talked about it. And they said they tried to keep it under wraps. But then, you know, everybody was doing it at Douglas, the high finishing people. And that's strolling. It's all about knowing where the school of fish are at, keeping your boat about right where they're at, past the cast the school, letting a whole bunch of line out with the trolling motor. Sometimes they were letting their whole school come out and then just reeling and reeling and it gets down so much deeper. So try the technique when the fish are real deep, you might catch them. 